Welcome everyone joining us. We're waiting a few more minutes to make sure that everyone's in and then we can start. All right, then I guess we can get started. So welcome everyone. Welcome to day two of the Celtic Knot Conference and welcome to this workshop. Set up your first Wikidata powered info box with Databox. I am super excited about this workshop because I'm sure that it's going to be useful for uh, plenty of people here who may wonder how to set up easily um, an automated template on their Wikipedia using Wikidata and this workshop is here exactly for that. So together with us, we have Sadiq Shahanu um, from the Dagbani Wikimedia User Group and um, Mohammed using his username Dian Shitobu from the Green Wikimedia Community. And they are going to explain to you um, how to install and how to use Databox. So this workshop is uh, going to be very participative. Like um, the idea is that um, we're going to show you the different steps on how to install Databox, but you will have the chance to also do it with us. So if you have the chance, um, feel free to uh, grab maybe a laptop if you can, or like a device on which you can actually also uh, follow with us what we're going to do, uh, because it's going to be a practical workshop. So yes, um, just a few words before we start. Um, as in the rest of the event, we're following uh, the friendly space policy that I'm going to post again in the chat. And we uh, are recording this workshop um, to publish it later on YouTube. Some people who sign up as active participants have the possibility to unmute their microphone and share their screen, for example, when it's going to be time for questions or for a demo or asking for help, you will be able to do that. But when you're not speaking, please uh, remember to remain uh, muted. And be aware that your picture can happen on the can be visible on the video recording. Um, in any case, everyone can ask uh, questions and discuss in the chat. When you're doing that, just make sure that you're selecting the option everyone, because I think by default it's sending only to host and panelists, and you probably want to send your messages to everyone. And then finally, we also have some uh, social channels. Um, we're going to remind you at the end of the workshop, but I can already post it here. If you're not on the Celtic Knot Telegram groups yet, feel free to join and so you can continue the discussions. And before I leave the stage um, to Sadiq and Dian Chitobu, here's more or less how the workshop is going to go. So we're going to start with an introduction of Databox. What is it? How does it work? Why is it useful? And then we're going to start our practical steps. Sadiq and Dian Chitubu are going to show us how to install Databox on a wiki. And you will be able to reproduce the steps and maybe to um, install Databox on your own wiki. Then after a very short break, um, we will move to the second part. That is, now that we have a Databox on wiki, how to add it on articles to have this beautiful um, info box on, on an article on your Wikipedia. And again, uh, our speakers are going to show us how it works, and then you will have the possibility to do it by yourself. Then we will have a phase where you can ask all of your questions and maybe solve a few remaining issues that we have before we conclude and we show you, we give you some links to some resources and also how to keep in touch to keep working on Databox together. I hope that everything is clear. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the chat. And now I will ask uh, Sadiq and Dian Chitubu to quickly introduce themselves and proceed with the workshop. Hello, can everyone hear me? Yes. Great. Welcome everyone in Dagani, I will say Imaraba. Um, because this is a the language conference, I just wanted to show you how we say uh, welcome in Dagani. So, if you see anybody who speaks the one, just say, um, Amaraba to the person in the chat. <laughs> well, my name is Sadek Shahadu. I am based in Accra at the moment, but mostly living in Tamale, where um, most of the Dagbani Wikimedia community members are based. 
And I am currently serving as the West African Language Coordinator at Art and Feminism, and also um, working with the Wikimedia Language Diversity Hub as, this, as a steering committee member. And we are currently working on a research project that supports um, you know, some committee, um, local language committees in Africa. Yeah, so that is it about me. Yanshito, would you like to go? Yes, yes, yes. Um, this is the way of welcoming everyone to meet me in the morning. Uh, my name is Mohamed Kamal Dean. I go by the username DN Shitovu. Um, I am one of the project managers for the Guruni Wikimedia community and also a trainer at the Guruni Wikimedia User Group. Um, I basically um, want to champion digital rights, um, e governance, and uh, online space and like indigenous languages. These are some of the things uh, we are into. And nice meeting you today. I'll be um, co-demonstrating on how to install Databox with Sadiq Sahadu and the team. And we are happy to have you as participants. We hope that by the end of this session, um, you're going to install Databox on, the, on your various Wikipedia platforms so that we get to use uh, Wikidata the more. Thank you, and have a nice time. Thank you, Dian Chito. So um, welcome once again, everyone. Um, as you may be aware, this session is recorded. In case you don't want to show in the video, please turn, turn off your camera. Thank you. So um, I just want to ask a question about Databox. Does anyone here knows about Databox? You know Databox? Have you used it before? How does it work? Please leave your chats, your comments in the chat. Or um, we have some pack, um, participants will be more active in this session so if you can also if you are one of them you can just unmute and then share with us what you think about data box and how it is used on wikipedia articles okay so i'm reading some comments yeah so most of us know about info box like the traditional info box on wikipedia articles any of the like when you open any wikipedia article you see some you know side box that contains like uh, some structured information about the article itself yeah i think most of us know that already yeah so now we are going to introduce you to something very cool like a very important tool that connects wikidata to wikipedia articles in many languages so stay tuned. Okay. So um, from my own understanding of data box, the data box, um, plural, we call them data boxes, is a sidebar or side box within a book or an article. It contains like illustrative data or structured data, as we know on the, the traditional info boxes. So data box basically look like an info box on Wikipedia articles. And as we dive deeper, we'll take you through the difference between an info box and data box and how important it is to you know, use data box instead of info boxes. Another important thing about data box is that it, link, it links Wikipedia articles to Wikidata items. So that is super cool. Like for info boxes, they are just templates that you uh, required to copy and modify to be able to use it. And we have several info boxes that sometimes it's difficult. When I started using info boxes, it was very difficult for me. Like, for instance, if I'm working on an, art, an article for like an artist and I want an in info box, I need to go to one of the articles or one artist article to copy that and then modify it to suit the article that I'm working on, which can be quite tedious. And thankfully we have data box powered info boxes that we'll be taking you through shortly. Okay, so everyone should take a look at this. This is an article on the Daguan Wikipedia, Jerry John Rawlings, our former um, president. I hope everyone can see. Please let me know if you can see this article. Okay. Yeah, we can so see. Now, now let's move to this. What do you think? 
All right. So I'll, I'll come back to this. What are the differences? What do you notice between the first um, slide and the second one? Can anyone share with me what they've noticed? This and this. I will be very happy to hear, you know, something. I can see the difference. I can clearly see the difference. So I'm looking forward to hearing, you know, from you what you have noticed. What is the difference between the first and the second article? Rookie, are you ready to talk? Yeah, I can see that. I can see I'm the wallet and uh, information on you the middle. Mm hmm. I think I, I I can hardly hear you, but I think you are talking about the image. Okay, I'm saying that I can see an image, and at the same time, I can see a brief history about you below the image. Great, thank you for sharing. Anyone has anyone else noticed anything? Yes. So now, um, with this, you realize that um, the, the article, the content of the article remains the same, like basically everything is the same. But when you open this one, you see some information like the picture and then um, some information below the picture. Um, because we are using the Dagbani Wikipedia, you can see that some of the information are in Dagbani. We'll talk about that. Uh, I think there's another session that will dive deeper on this how to get all these translated in your own language instead of them you know, appearing in English. So this is the difference, like you rightly mentioned. There's a picture, there's an info box, there's um, you know, a structured data on the right side as compared to the article, the, the first um, article I shared. So now that we, we have noticed the difference, why do we use um, data box or why should Everyone use data box. If you ask me, I would say it gives a simple structured data because Wikidata is multilingual and Wikidata is structured data. When you connect Wikidata to Wikipedia articles, it gives you the structured data that you like, very simple and beautiful. The second advantage is that it displays data curated and updated by a broader community. So we know that Wikidata is collaboratively ed edited by many people and you have the chance to like add information in your language is multilingual and anybody can contribute to Wikidata. The third advantage is that Wikidata, um, the data box ensures that articles are linked to Wikidata as I mentioned earlier. And then the fourth one, it makes article look really beautiful as we have seen. So these are the importance or the advantages of using um, data box on Wikipedia. And with this session, you'll be able to learn practically how you can actually add um, data boxes on Wikipedia articles. And we'll not do that, we'll start by introducing you to um, how you can install that on your language wiki if you don't have it, so don't worry. Okay, so at this juncture, I would like to call on um, DNC to come and walk us through how you can install a data box on your language wiki. Thank you, I'll be back. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us this loud of information. Um, you've taken us through what data box is, the importance of data box, and it has been very lovely. So now let's get um, thinking. Um, data box, data box, how do we install data box? We also have uh, our first article, our second article looking like uh, the one we have. Um, a data box, like you mentioned, is, is, a, is powered by Wikidata. So the properties that is on Wikidata is automatically pulled just with the template data box into your Wikipedia platform, um, regardless of which language it is. So um, I think next slide. Before you get to uh, install Wikidata uh, data box, you are supposed to three templates, two templates and one model. Um, so we have links to some of the data model. 
the data box model, then we install the data box template, then we again install the data box generic template. These are things we are going to demonstrate to you practically, and you can also um, practice that at your end. Now, to install it, you need um, a Wikipedia platform that already have um, this data box installed, that is having the script. All that you do is you just copy and paste. So for this workshop, we are going to be getting the script from the Dagwan Wikipedia, and um, we'll be practicing with the YAP Wikipedia. Now, YAP Wikipedia is one of the newest uh, Wikipedia platform, and uh, we want to install it there so that um, they could start enjoying Databox too. Next slide, please. Okay, so um, as you can see, before you install Databox on any Wikipedia platform, you need to search to be sure that there is not something that is existing already. So at the search button, uh, you just type module colon data box. Now, if you type this, then you get your resource as a red link. It means it doesn't exist. You can go ahead to create. But if you type that and it comes as a blue link or it even pops up, it means that um, that Wikipedia platform already has got that. So um, let me share my screen from here. So, um, so they, you can stop your screen, then I'll share my screen here and continue with the demonstration. Thank you. All right, so um, if you can see my screen, um, we're going to be practicing with uh, the YAP Wikipedia. I'm just uh, loading up uh, my slides to show. So for you to open, I want to get to where, okay, so the YAP Wikipedia. So if you type kcgenwikipedia.org, that um, would take you to the YAP Wikipedia. Then at the YAP Wikipedia, we're going to search out uh, the data box module. And if it is not the existent, we're going to install that. So if I type data box, colon, module, you see that um, it is something that, that is not existent. So if I hit on the search button, so once we get a red link like this, it means that it is something that is not existing already. So I can just click on the red button or on the red link to create the data box model. Now to get the data box model, like we mentioned, you can get it from um, an already existing Wikipedia platform. And we're going to get ours from the Dagwani Wikimedia user group or the Dagwani Wikipedia platform. So the links, all these links are found on the slide, but um, I might not want to use that because the slide will be made available to you after the call. So um, we just go to Dagwani Wikipedia. So here, you literally do not have to do anything trying to um, put your own codes there. You just copy and paste. It's just a copy and paste something that you'll be doing. And um, once you get that, uh, you get your code. If you open the data box model on the Wikipedia, the target Wikipedia platform, um, you're going to copy the codes by going to edit source mode. So. Here we have module data box. All right, it should show.
Ouch. What's really happening to my... I'm sorry, I think I just closed, mistakenly closed the page and uh, that is why uh, we lost it. So module data box. So if it's show, um, it depends upon the language, but Malmadi um, Yushinan is a Tawani translation for edit source. So if we hit on this, then it's going to open the edit source mode for us. Then we'll copy all the text. So here is it, control A, then we select or control C to copy, or you can just right click and you copy. Then you go to the target Wikipedia where you actually want to um, get it installed. Then because I mistakenly closed it, I think I need to open it here again, data box. Okay. So you just paste the text you have copied from the um, other Wikipedia. So here I'll just press on Control V, then I have it there. Beautiful. So um, all that I do next is um, I'm going to scroll down, then give a summary of what I have done. So. Uh, I should have been able to speak the Yap language where I could write what I've done in summary in Yap language, but I think I'll just write that in English. So yeah, I've added a data box, then I'll hit on publish. I would want to watch this page because um, I would not want someone to come and mess around with it. So whatever changes someone makes, I'll be giving the alert. Then the next thing is um, for us to install the um, data box template. Now to get the to install the data box template again on your target Wikipedia platform, um, you're going to look for the data box template. So on the Dubai Wikipedia, you just type template colon data box. Then here you are, beautiful. So if it opens, you go back to your target um, Wikipedia platform where you want to install the data box. Then you search templates to make sure that it is not something that is not existing already. Data box, okay. Okay, so guys, I want to turn off my camera so that I can increase bandwidth. So just kind of permit me to do that. All right, thank you. So um, in the YAP language, template is spelled as template data box. I mean, that is the translation of template in YAP language. So you just go ahead and click on this. In the band, we translate um, template as template. So um, that doesn't really matter. So here, um, to get the source code, you hit on Malmadiyif Shainana. Malmadiyif is always the edit source in English. So if you open a different language Wikipedia platform, all you know is the first button talks about read. The second button is um, edit source. Sometimes you have edit. And if you don't find the edit source here, you could just come to uh, more if it is in English. Sometimes this is written as more, then you'll find the edit source here. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and click on Malmedi uh, Yushena now. Then this is just the code we are going to copy. So Control A, Control C. Then we come to the YAP language, that's the YAP Wikipedia platform. Then we paste that. 
So here we're going to publish. So here I have added, I've created a template that I'll publish. I don't know if we are all following. Yes, we are following. Beautiful, thank you. So now we've, um, we've created the template data box. Now we have to create another template called the uh, data box generic. So to do that, you type data template, template colon, data box generic. So you see that now that we've installed data box, once I begin typing template data box, it shows or it pops up. This shows that um, we've actually successfully installed data box. So we want to um, install data box generic, generic, okay. Then we go back to the one Wikipedia where we already have it, or you can just open any Wikipedia platform that you feel already have data box installed, then you can get the source code there. So we have data box, sorry, template, template column, data box generic. All right, it pops up, then I hit on it. Now if it opens, good. I'll hit on Malmedy UPNN, which is the same as edit source. Then I copy the source code and go and paste it on the target Wikipedia platform. So control A, control C, then I come to the target Wikipedia platform. So you see that when I search template column data box generic, I got a red link indicating that on the YAP language, we don't have template generic uh, data box link already created. So I hit on this, then it opens for me to paste so I've copied my source code already. I'll just go straight and paste. Then the next thing I do is I publish. So what have I done here? I have added the template or I've created a template. At least this is important because um, people need to know what you are doing, like what you have done. So though I don't speak YAP language, um, when the administrators or the active participants or the active editors of the YAP language come, they will know that, okay, DNC trouble installed data box with the English text. So uh, it's good when anytime you make any edit, you try to put a comprehensive summary um, that will give people an idea um, what you have done. I think I pressed on A. Uh, let me remove that. So, okay, this A was pressed on mistakenly. Okay, so here I have updated content. This is just a minor edit. Then I hit on publish again. Thank you, Leah, for, for sharing the link. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now that we have finished um, adding the various templates and the module for data box, now let's go into the YAP Wikipedia and demonstrate how we can add data box to um, various articles. Let's go to the home page. Okay, so currently on the YAP Wikipedia, they have, uh, they have 429 articles. Let me just click on that to go to um, the list of articles. Um, the list of all pages. All right, so here we are. We have got a list of various articles um, I'm just looking for something I can relate with. Um, something I can relate with so that we will demonstrate with that. Oh, 
Wow, I wish I could speak Yap language. So, um, Afghanistan, beautiful. We have Afghanistan here. So this is Afghanistan. Um, you see the Wikipedia page, how it looks like. Now for us to be able to add the data box template, we hit on edit source. So here they have already um, linked their articles to um, Wikidata. In the event that you have not linked your article to Wikidata, you will demonstrate Hello? how to link that. Yes. Hello. Yes, um, I think, you, we will do that later after we come out from the break. So you can ask questions about like, if they have any challenge or if someone is practically doing it as we are going on. And okay, the, the, the next Thank session you. will also allow participants to demonstrate, like the active participants to demonstrate how they can do that. Yeah. Yeah, so someone okay. is doing it, we'll, be, um, our, We'll go for a break and then come back to do that. We don't want to put everything um, together so that you know it will be difficult for people to remember. So at this point, if you have any question about what he has done and you know how you can do that, are you doing that at the moment? Do you need any assistance? We can you know help you before we go out. Exactly, and for people who are active participants and have access to the microphone or sharing screen um, if you are encountering difficulty you can also speak out loud and then show us what you're currently doing maybe you encounter a, a bug or something and uh, we'll be happy to help so who's trying to install databox on their wiki at the moment let us know in the chat yeah okay so a quick answer to um hazelbeck um hazelbeck is the head of um the Moodle Wikimedia Committee. Yes, you can install Databox in an incubator platform. Um, currently, we're working with um, John to get it um, global so that all Databox platform, uh, all data, what's the name, all Wikipedia platform currently in the incubator would have access to Databox automatically. Uh, but for now, locally, you can install Databox in your um, language incubator. The practical example is the Gruny incubator. They currently have uh, the data box, but that one, the syntax changes. If you look at the, the syntax for data box, it changes a little. You would just mention data box, uh, pipe, item equal to, then you copy the QID of that item and paste. Then you have your two curly brackets, and that is it. So I'm just putting that in the chat if you are listening. Okay. I am also seeing some chats about um, the current state of installation by participants. Uh, I think Sadiq has done that for their language wiki, which is great. Maybe Shito, would you want to stop sharing your screen? so that we can engage um, those doing it. Okay. Thank you. So I see that we have Iñaki trying to install the, the module on Basque uh, Wikipedia. Are you interested in like showing us a little bit what, what you're doing or what problem you're encountering? I think this is an opportunity for you to uh, step up and, you know, do it so that we can hide, um, 
we can support you. If you need any assistance, this is the best opportunity for you to get that from us. Cool. Richard, can you give the access to Iñaki? Because I don't think they have it yet. Um, yeah, we can't hear you, Inaki. So I think first uh, we need to yeah. add you as a panelist. Yeah, which... and I see Sadip has his hand up. Sadip, okay. would you like to share something with us? Not sure. Like, while Inaki figures out their... Maybe I can I can share my screen and show where I'm at. So you can share it with my screen. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. And we can hear you. Okay, perfect. So I just I didn't install the generic template. So what I did was uh, I installed the module. Basically, I copy pasted the module and I also created a template. I didn't understand the process of the generic uh, template and what is the purpose. Uh, but uh, with this, I was unable to add the template to the particular uh, where there was no template previously. Um, and now we see an image and some information. So the only thing is. How can we then make this information better? Because if you check on English Wikipedia, there's just a bit more information there. Better for instance, how can we maybe do that on Wikidata? Um, but that's not about the, the data box. Uh, classification Wikidata. Well, this works, and it worked for a uh, topic uh, for me. Uh, where there was a lot of problem with the existing templates, uh, which uh, yeah, there were many multiple templates and they were broken and I had no idea how to fix them with no knowledge of uh, CSS or what, whatever that was required. So this is really useful and I'm really glad to have participated in this workshop. I would still like to know what is the purpose of the, the generic template. Awesome. Wow. Congratulations, Satif. And I'm so happy that you know you've been able to do it and even you know figure out the difference between the two and how you are able to you know bypass that and just doing it quickly like that. That is really very important. Thank you so much, Satif. And anyone, does anyone have any question about installing data box? So at this point, let me share my screen. We also had Inaki who wanted to share something. Uh, hello. Okay. Cool. I don't know if you can actually. Yeah. Uh, now I, I'm I'm sharing the video as well. Awesome. No. You also yeah we can hear you. Yeah. Do you also want Good. to share your screen? Uh, I will try my best because uh, I'm not very used to this uh, to Zoom. But uh, my screen. Let me check. Uh, perhaps this one. Yes. Are you, are you yes, seeing, are I you see seeing it right now? Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, but I'm not seeing it myself. Uh, well, I have it on uh, just uh, on one of my screens since uh, luckily I have two screens and I can see it. So I what I tried was to, uh, I, I checked it out on, uh, on the Wikidata because uh, you know Galder and Galder may have it installed, but I, I I, I'm not finding it, so it, it's not there. But we we have things similar to data box, so in, in, they are automatic info boxes. I, I'm not sure if we are talking about the same thing. But anyway, I tried a module data box as uh, as the panelists said, 
module data box and, and this is uh, are using the the window right now so i'm in the in the basque wikipedia module data box and uh, yes it, it brought me to uh, just some results at the bottom of the at the bottom and a module data box but it's a red link and it produced uh, an automatic uh, translation of module into Basque. So module, it, it said module and data box. I'm not sure if data box should be the final translation, but yes, it could be, it could be. But I get a red link. So what would, would be next? I just link on the red link. I uh, click on the red link. And uh, so here comes the, the white, uh, the white box to edit and so this is the stage i am in right now can you hear me i'm not uh, hearing yeah anything. yeah we can hear you yeah, we, can, can see, we can see yeah. your screen as well so I guess the next step is to copy the content of an existing module data box, right? I will paste uh, the deck bunny one in the chat. Uh huh. Is this link uh, you pasted now, uh, Leah? Yes. Uh, yes. For Dag. Dagani, Dagani, I guess. Dagani, yeah. And then maybe DNGTubu, you can take over and guide Inaki a little bit about the next steps. Should Should I copy this? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. it? Yeah, so you just um, hit on the Malmo after Karma. There's Malmo, the Yipshin, I know. The one, the blue link. The blue link. Yes, after modules, there's a red link. Shower babu, not top. If you move up. Yeah. So, what's blue link? I'm not sure. So in that. English, you would have have it as read, which is now the karama. Is uh, is written black. The current ah. tab. After the good. Move up a little. No, no. So um, here. So you you are currently on Karma tab, the next tab. Uh, on the on the Wikimedia the Wikipedia tabs, just on the Wikipedia tabs, the next here? tab. Yeah. Aha, yeah. beautiful. Then click on that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, there. So I start editing in uh, Dagbani Wikipedia. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. And then you you just copy Control plus A, copy all. Got it. Yeah, copy. Good. Then um, you 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 come to click on uh, you go aha uh -huh, beautiful you just paste it here. Okay. And uh, yes, this is uh, what it looks like now. Yes, so you hit, uh, you write the summary of what you have done, then you publish. Okay, so I got the more uh, module data box module for Basque. Hmm. So next is for you to install the data box template. So you type template colon data box. You search that. But since since I am now in, uh, do I need to put it in default in default in English? Or or I yes, it can be in English. Yes, you, because we have you we have that in English. for that word usually as if you are seeing just uh, the screen now we have chantilo Ch chantilo is, is the default uh, translation for template. No problem, uh, both works perfectly. Both right. Okay, so uh, chantilo and I put the data box right.
I hope I got right the spelling. Uh, I uh, I got I got the spelling wrong, so. Okay, so you can just type that in English. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, I I will correct it uh, right away. Yeah, so now, now, now I'm fine. I, I've got a red link as well. Yes, you just click on that. Then you go back to the Bani Wikipedia. Um, I think um, Leah would do us the pleasure. Beautiful, um, it's in the chat. So you just hit on the link. Then uh, it will take you to the Dagwani Wikipedia platform where we have the data box template. Yeah. Then you again click on my mother, you share and then that's it. Okay, so the the one in the the one in the chat, right? The yes, one I please. just posted, yes. Yeah. So I've, so I've got a yeah. Malma did you see that? No. Yeah. That is edit source in the one. Uh huh. So I I get the invoke data box. Yes. Yeah, so you copy and go and paste on um, your Wikipedia platform. Okay, then you go uh, ahead to write a summary. Done. Yeah, beautiful. Now we we'll install the data box uh, generic. So you type template data box generic i'm putting that in the chat room uh, so i i put uh, another red link like template and uh, data box data box generic as it appears in the chat Okay, I will use the, in order to be regular, I will use the Basque, uh, the Basque translation, data box. You know? No problem. So even if you use the English format, once you create it, it will automatically get translated because the Basque language identifies templates as in its translated form. Okay. Yeah. So now I get a red link. Beautiful, um, then you hit on that. Leah has just posted the link again in the chat. So you open the link and copy and paste. Uh, do I copy the, the template, the between brackets? Yes, yeah. so you hit on Malmadi Yipshina, no? You copy the edit source code, then you go and paste. Okay, so... All right. The code. And I put it, the code inside the box, Chantiloy data box generic, the template template data box generic. I, pay, I paste it there. Good, then you publish. Done. Beautiful. Thank you. We are in a comfortable lead now. So, are we uh, done by now? Is, is, yes. Yeah. So, um, there are just a few touches. Uh, we just want to ensure that at least some few people get it installed. 
and we are happy to have you install it on the bus Wikipedia. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. the next step is going to be to display it on a Wikipedia article, of course, to make use of it. But first, maybe let's look at a last example of someone who wanted to install it, and then we can move to the displaying on the Wikipedia. So I think we had a wish for installing on incubator on um, Ghanaian Pigdin. Do we want to do that? If we have a few more minutes? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we, we can do that right away before we start um, adding the template to the various articles. All right, great. So uh, thanks, Inyaki, for sharing. Maybe you will be back on stage later when we'll be at the stage of displaying the, the data box on a Wikipedia article. Yeah, th thanks for the for guiding. Yeah. Thank you, Inaki. And I also see um, people asking about how they can switch between languages. I think you can do that on the um, left side at the bottom. Just click on the language. Uh, if you are on another language, you just switch to English so that you can have the, you know, everything showing in uh, English, even if you are on another wiki. I think it will probably be easier for someone to demonstrate. And at this point, like Leah said, we would like to see another example. We want to make sure that everyone gets the understanding of how they can install data box and we'll be happy to support you. Thanks to Sati and Inaki for their demonstration. Inaki, you're still sharing your screen, by the way. Yeah. And yes. in the uh, chat, I also posted a link to an etherpad because we're trying to collect all the modules and templates that I've been creating in this workshop. So if you're currently creating some, um, please add them in the pad. I already added the Basque Wikipedia ones there. All right. Are we in a good place for us to demonstrate how to install it on an incubator? So I think it was um, the user behind the account, uh, Ghanaian Bitgen Wikimedia Communities. Um, Richard, can you upgrade this person into a panelist so they can share their screen and microphone? Yeah, I'll do that now. Thank you. We're going to try to do this shortly, and then we'll go on a short break in order to stay on time and to have enough time for the second part that's going to be equally exciting. That will be... Um, displaying the data box on a Wikipedia article. OK, so um, can I go ahead? Yeah, you can go ahead. Yes, sure. Okay. So um, we, for now, we're going to demonstrate on how to install data box on the Ghanaian Pigeon incubator. Um, we can get, we can simply use the same codes, or we can go to the Gruni Wikimedia uh, incubator and get the source code from that place. So I'm going to share my screen from here. Um, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to copy this link and put it in the chat. So this is a link to the um, Gruni incubator. So here, because it is um, incubator, it will always have the WP, that is uh, Wikipedia forward slash, the language code, then uh, the name of the Wikimedia, this is the, Home page um, of the so, sorry, um, yes. I think you are sending the chat to me <laughs> instead of sending it to the. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. so you can just switch to everyone. Just tap on my name and switch to everyone so that all of that can see. Everyone, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so. Um, the link I have just shared with you is the link to the Gruni Wikimedia community. Um, we currently have the data box installed there. 
and we're going to demonstrate on how to install it on the uh, Ghanaian pigeon incubator, the uh, Ghanaian pigeon English incubator. So to do that, first of all, we just type the module, module colon data box. Good. Now, if I search this, um, it will automatically prefix it with WP forward slash GNPE forward slash beautiful. So as you can see here, module colon WP forward slash uh, which where have I searched this? I think um, I would have to change my search. So module colon WP, that's Wikipedia, colon the language code. So gene PE colon data, uh, forward slash data box. Let me search this. Beautiful. Now I have it as a red link. So I'll just hit on um, the red link. Then come back to the Gruni incubator where I, I will just search that out. Module colon data box. So this is the Gruni incubator. So if I hit on this, it will take me to the source code. Now this demonstration is so important for those of us who are currently having our language in the incubator. So here I'll just hit on ed edit source. That's in the edit source mode. Then I copy the codes. Then back on the Ghanaian pigeon incubator, then I paste. All right, so um, initially it was having an error, and the error was that um, we had in the code somewhere where the language code was always prefixed, but uh, I think John fixed that, so it, not, it now works perfectly. Now once this is done, what have I done? I have um, I've added a module, added a module data box. So I hit on publish. Then the next thing I do is um, let me get the data box templates again from the Guruni Wikimedia community. So templates colon data box. So a template. Now automatically this will be translated to pigeon um, at the end of the day. So we have WP for slash gene PE for slash data box. Now here we are. We just copy the source code. I think I need to get this source code to um, into the incubator, into the chat. So I hit on edit source. Then here I'll copy. Then come and create for this. Then I paste here. But then here I need to change it to the language code of the Ghanaian pigeon. So Jin P E. Okay. So if you are also um, demonstrating this for your uh, language uh, incubator, you need to change the language code here for it to work. So next is um, I've created a template. 
then I publish. Then the last thing we'll be installing is the um, data box generate. So I'll just type that data box generic. Beautiful, it's here. So on the Ghanaian pigeon incubator, I would do the same thing. Gen PE generic. If I'm moving too fast, please kindly um, let me know so that I can slow down. It's okay. I'm getting it. All right. Thank you. So if I hit on um, edit source, I'll be able to copy this. Copy. So the only problem with the incubator languages is that um, you need to look through the codes and make sure you change the language code of the existing uh, incubator that you copy the text from. So here, we'll look through and change this gene UR to uh, gene PE. Um, I think that's all for now. Okay, so here we change this one too to gene PE. If not, it will not work. Then we've created a template. Then I publish. Now we have installed, we have successfully installed the data box on an incubator platform. So you can also demonstrate this. Is there anyone who wants to do that for a week, uh, an incubator before we move to? the demonstration on how to link um, the article, that's the Wikipedia article, to Wikidata. Anybody to demonstrate? Or if you would like to share your screen too, um, we'll be in a very good position to allow you to. Or maybe folks are tired. Do we need to take a break and come back to do that? But it will be very nice to have a demo on um, incubator as well, so that when we come, we can just do everything together. So yeah, who be, that would be nice. That would really be nice. Who will be willing to demonstrate for their incubator? Okay, so. Um, Goody wants to do for Wikicode incubator. Cool. So um, Leah, at this point, do we go for a break? I think we are tired and we are 10 minutes past an hour. Yes, I think we should do a five minute breaks. In the meantime, you can also go back in the chat and look a little bit if there are more questions. And then in five minutes, we can start again and then see, yeah. If we have more time for demonstrating more installation, or if we jump to uh, adding the info box, the data box on some Wikipedia articles. Okay, so let's have a five minute break and we will stay in the same room, nothing moves. For people who arrive maybe a little bit later, um, you will be able to catch up on this workshop after it's published. And in the meantime, if you want, I'm also going to look at a little tutorial. And don't forget to mute your microphone. All right, see you in a few minutes.
All right, I think we can slowly start again. So during the first part of this workshop, um, Sadiq and the Institute group showed us how to install the data box module and templates on Wikipedias. I noticed that we have at least four Wiki new Wikipedia where the data box module was installed. Mm -hmm. I linked them um, on this etherpad. And if you've also been working on, um, on Databox, please also add the links there so we can know a little bit what has been done during the, the workshop, what are the outcomes of the workshop that would be very helpful. And of course, you can also click on the links and go and see what the others have been doing. And now we're gonna start with the second part of this workshop, which is now that you have your nice Databox uh, template on your Wikipedia, how do you use it? And how do you use it on articles? So we're going to do the same system. First, uh, we're going to show you how it works. And then if someone wants to jump on stage, for example, one of the people who already installed the, the template during the first part of the workshop, we can also look at it together and help you setting your first data box on your Wikipedia. Let's go. Hey, welcome, everyone. I hope you've had enough. Um, air and time to relax now let's um, dive deeper this is the most exciting part so stay tuned okay so i hope you can see my screen yes great so in the first um presentation we showed you how articles are linked to data or how data box appears on an article. Um, for this session, we'll walk you through practical how you can add them or add data boxes to your wiki. Um, so let me stop sharing my screen at this point. Then I will. Okay. So let's go. Okay, so if you can see my screen, I remember the first installation we did was on the YAP Wikipedia. So I would want to do the demonstration on the YAP Wikipedia. So let's go. I've logged in. So before you do that, you need to make sure you are on the wiki. So YAP Wikipedia has kcg.wikipedia.org. Once you enter this, it will take you to the main page of the app Wikipedia. And I would like to demonstrate that using um, an article on Ghana on the app Wikipedia. So if you are following along, you can also like connect to the existing uh, installations we have done. Or if you already have Databox installed on your wiki, you can just follow along. So when I click on, first of all, I'll click on edit source. Now, what we see in the image was not a data box. So this is the normal um, Wikipedia template that most of us are already familiar with. So this is the whole um, information that has appeared when you, you know, published. Let me switch back for you to see. So this, Info box here is not a data box, but even though it looks nice, but it's not a, the, the data box info um, box. So we are going to actually take this off. I'm going to take this um, info box off. So before you can add data box to any Wikipedia article, you need to use the template code, which is Kelly bracket, data box. I am doing it on this wiki because we have it already installed. So if your wiki is, uh, if the data box is not installed on your wiki, you'd have to follow the steps that um, DN has taken us through. So I, before I publish that, I will first of all check to see one of the, import, the most important things you need to know is that we are linking information or data 
pulled from Wikidata. So you have to first of all check on Wikidata to be sure that um, this article on the YAP Wikipedia exists on Wikidata. So this is Wikidata. Then I will type uh, Ghana. This is already Ghana. So you have to search. It can be another article. So if you are following, just make sure you search on Wikidata to be sure that the um, article you are working on exists on Wikidata. If not, you can quickly create it. So we have Ghana on Wikidata. So the next step I would want to do is to, the next thing I would like to do is to go down here just go because we could um, the Ghana Wikidata item is long you just go all the way down here so here you will see the Wikipedia the number of Wikipedia entries on this particular item on Ghana um, so we currently have 249 entries for Ghana on Wikidata. You can see all the language codes. So you just, if you are following, you can just check to see if your language is already one of the entries. I can see that Bani. So just make sure you scroll to be sure that your language is added. Okay, I think the banner is not there. I think it was removed. So first of all, I would like to add that in the banner. So you, to do that, you just go to the language entries and then you click on edit. Once you click on edit, it will take you to the entries and then you scroll to the very last, but, um, language then you type in your language code so if the ban is already there i might not see it here dag which means there's the ban so let me go back to see but yes we are going to add that for yap language so let me type the yap language kcg kcg yeah, so there's yap. Then I have to make sure I am typing the exact name I used or I created the article on the yap Wikipedia. So let's go back to be sure. I'll take this off for now. And I've also removed the info box on yap Wikipedia. So let me publish changes. So now we don't have any info box on the YAP Wikipedia on Ghana. Um, and the spelling is different. So if you are adding it to Wikidata, you have to be sure that you are using the exact name on the wiki. Some have like the... So this one, I'll just type it as it is, Ghana. Once you do that, the article will appear. Then you click to select, and then you hit publish. Okay, so I've just added um, YAP to the Wikipedia entries on the Ghanaian item on Wikidata. So now we have 250 entries. If you have a language that you want to add, you can just do that. But make sure your uh, you already have Wikidata the data box installed on your wiki. Let me see if I can find Ghana. Let me see if I can add that as well. Um, um, Maybe it's already there that I'm not seeing. Okay, but now that we have added it, 
we have to go back to the um, article and do the simplest thing. So now we need to add the data box template on the article on YAP Wikipedia by typing your curly bracket. Data box. Okay. Once you do that, you just scroll down. We can preview okay so we have it on the job wikipedia now let's publish so i have to type this Great, so we have um, data box added to Ghana article on YAP Wikipedia. So this is basically how you, you do that. Is anyone doing that at the moment? So we just added a data box to a Ghana article on, Wikipedia, uh, on the YAP Wikipedia. And as I mentioned earlier, you first of all need to add it because the information will be pulled from Wikidata. You, you first of all need to add the language wiki as one of the entries on that particular item on Wikipedia, uh, on Wikidata, sorry. So we, we have just done that for Ghana article on YAP Wikipedia. Does anyone have any right. question? Um, just a quick addition. Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, people who can speak the YAP language, if you look at the data box as it, as it is shown in our, on our screen, you find that the data box have got um, so many properties still in English, and this offers an opportunity for you to get them translated. So just like Sadiq was mentioning um, about the importance of data box, it offers you the chance to increase the uh, lexicographical data on a particular language. So here, um, what we are seeing here in Dagbani, all those, all these uh, properties are written in Dagbani. They were translated into Dagbani, which you can also do for any language. Once you get uh, on Wikidata, you can add the Wikidata label for all the properties, especially the commonly used ones that are usually pulled for um for the data box so that um it will look more meaningful so um pahala this is in dagbane in in english that is a different property altogether so that's just basically what i want to add thank you Shitobu. yes yeah, so yeah, we have another session coming up which will be specifically be dealing with um this particular um, topic that vn is talking about how you can translate all the Wikidata properties into your language. And actually there are hundred uh, most commonly used um, properties that you can start with, which I'll be linking that to the slides. And if you get the opportunity during the next session, you'll be able to learn how you can do that for your language. So if you compare the two articles on um, Dagbani and the YAP Wikipedia, you can see that most of the properties because they are translated into Dagbani on the Dagbani Wikipedia. You can see them appearing in Dagbani, like you mentioned, even though some of them are still in English, which means we have to do a lot of translation. And as part of uh, our effort to increase the lexicographical data on Wikidata, it is important for us to translate as much as we can some of these properties in our own language so that we can have them appearing fully um, in our own language. So for the YAP community, 
you may be very interested in participating in this session, the next session, where you can learn how to translate all these properties into the, um, your own language. Um, yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, we have successfully added data box to the YAB article, um, Ghana. And if you have any question, please, you can post that on the chart, inside the chat. And also, um, we'll be happy to have someone demonstrate this on their wiki, like adding a uh, data box on their own wiki. And um, maybe we should call on the ones that we have demonstrated here. Um, the Bosque wiki and um, Sadip can also come back to do that for us on his wiki. And uh, there's another one that we did on the incubator pigeon can also do that. So if you have any question, please leave it in the chat. I see we have a question about the incubator um, because since uh, the incubator is not directly connected to Wikidata, yeah. there is a little trick, right? Can you show us yes. that? Yes, uh, I'll come okay. in to help. Okay, all right, cool. So. Okay, so um, thank you, Sarek, and thank you, Leah, so far, and thank you to the participants for staying in tune. Um, so on the incubator, if you want to add um, Wikidata label or a Wikidata um, data box to your article, um, let's just go to the recent changes made on the, um, let me go to the group, uh, the, uh, how do we call it, the Ghanaian pigeon. Ghanaian pigeon, WP, for slash pigeon, PE. Okay, so <clears throat> here, first of all, we need to identify the article we want to um, get the uh, what's the name? The data box on. I think I am not able to get into um, the. Let me demonstrate with the Gruni incubator. I think it's, this, it's still the same thing. So here, let's look for an article like um, Tamale. Tamale. If only it exists. Okay, so we have um, Tamale Senior High School, uh, Tamale Islamic Senior High School. Okay, it already has a data box. So let me look out for Tamale Senior High School. So if it opens um, here, you just have to open Wikidata. So you open on a new tab, then you open Wikidata. That's wikidata.org. Okay, so this article do not have um, a Wikidata power data box. Now to add the data, the Wikidata box here, I'll just click on edit source. But then I need to search this article, the title on Wikidata to be sure that it exists already. Um, so on Wikidata, I'll search Tamalesina High School. Okay, so I think it's right here, Tamalesina High School. Now, all that I need is just a QID, but I would like to open it for you to see. So I will have to copy the QID. Then I'll return to the incubator for Tamale Senior High School. Then at the very top, I bring my two Kelly brackets, data box. So you just, um, I'll copy the syntax and put in the chat, uh, data box, Five item where the item is equal to, then I paste the QID. 
then I'll close my curly brackets. Now, if I publish this, I'm going to have the data box showing. So here, what have I done? I have added the data box. This is a minor edit. Then I hit on publish. Beautiful. So you see that before I did this, the article was just looking so skeletal. But now look at how beautiful the article looks. So the data box is the order of the day. In fact, it gives us the chance to increase the content on uh, a particular uh, Wikipedia or a particular incubator. So even with the information that can be found on the data box here, we can improve the article here. Here we only have Tamale, Sina High School, Bola Tamale, Northern Region, Ghana. Now, the official name of the school is this, the nickname this, all this information could be used in expanding this. So just like um, we all know, data box, uh, Wikipedia is for the lengthy articles and Wikidata is for structured multilingual uh, data. So this is just an example of on how to add data box in the incubator. Let me demonstrate it once more um, so that those who are uh, Leah, do you have the syntax, or I should just put it here? Can you paste it in the chat? All right, that will be helpful. So data box item, where item is equal to, then the QID number, QID number. So here you just um, replace that with the QID. So it's in the chat box now. Let me demonstrate once more, then we move to other stuff. Or we can get um, someone to, to demonstrate it. Um, let's look out for Eswood Anaba. Okay, Eswood Anaba now have, has a, a data box. Um, preferences. I want to switch to the um, the pigeon, the Ghanaian pigeon, and demonstrate that since um, our colleague is very passionate about that one. They so actually the wanted to do it themselves. Maybe you can let them share the screen and then you can help if needed. Yes. Exactly. That would be helpful. All right. So are you ready to demonstrate that? Yeah, I'm ready. Beautiful. So Excellent. let me stop sharing my screen. The floor is yours. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we can see your screen now. You're okay. looking for a good article to add. Yeah, I'm looking for a good article. So you can um, just look out for one of the popular people on which you have created the article. Okay. So, okay Ashanti region, Akasin, Ashanti region. Okay, Ghana is good. It's good. Oh, that's already me. Oh, okay. No, this is not. This is a picture. Okay. So, edit source, right? Yes, please. So whilst you go on with that, um, mostly when we have the data box, um, we prefer that you add the image of that item onto the Wikidata item so that when it's pulling the data from Wikidata, it, it brings the picture along. So for example, this image here, you could add that up on the Wikidata item for Ghana. 
so that whilst you when you call on the when you pull the um, data box from the wiki data it automatically comes with it okay so right now you open wiki data just open wiki data somewhere on a new tab perhaps i'm trying to <laughs> Then you type wiki data. Exactly. Then you can copy the QID just at the top. Okay, when you are pasting, you paste and delete the brackets. Okay. I should come back to the incubator, right? Yes, you go back to the incubator. Okay. Is that okay? No, please. Um, the, the text, the syntax that has been placed in the chat room by Leah, that's what you are supposed to copy and paste. No, kindly check in the chat room. Okay, beautiful. Then you publish. Okay. You see how it looks now? Okay, so um, the image at the at the bottom, if you if you like, you can now remove it and go and add it on the wiki data item for in, uh, for Ghana, so that just right below the the name Ghana before sovereign state country, you have the image there. Maybe you okay. can do that after this um, demonstration. Okay, okay, I'll do that. I think Mori Community Hazelbeck said uh, he has also demonstrated and is working perfectly. Yeah. Would you like to share? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, Rudy also have a challenge adding that. I think we can do that demonstration as well. Um, but if Mori wants to pick up and uh, do a demo on how um, they have done that, that would be cool. We have 15 minutes more. Okay, so let me stop share my screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let me, let me uh, before you come in, um, Mori, um, let me just do a demo on the Wikipedia article, Goody Shared. Let me share my screen again. Okay. Yeah, so I think, this is the article. So first of all, we have to go to Wikidata. Since you have already installed data box on your wiki, we just go to Wikidata and then we search on any article, let's say Ghana. And then we will scroll down all the way. Okay, then we'll click on the Wikipedia entries and then we'll type the language code IG. Okay, let me see if it already exists. IG, IG. Uh, 
Uh, okay, it's there. So it's been linked on Wikidata. So since it has been linked, I'll just go ahead and add it to the article. I will click on edit source. So this is the info box. I'll just delete this info box. And then I'll insert my data box template by typing to curly bracket data box. Then I close it. Uh, data box. Show preview. Yeah, so it works, but there's a challenge. There's an issue with the templates. Something might be wrong. Let me try another article. Let's see. Um, IG wiki. Okay, so I think um, it's possible that the installation wasn't done properly. Yeah, I Maybe. suppose. Yeah. Um, so let's, I think we can just fix that. Yeah. So let's. So we have 10 minutes left before the end of the workshop. So I think, unfortunately, we don't have time to debug. However, now is a good time to mention that there is a Telegram group uh, for Databox users, and maybe we can continue there. So we, I would love to have a little bit more time for questions before we close the workshop. Sure. Okay, that's so, fine. So uh, we'll, work, we'll work on that backstage. So I'm also trying to ask, we wait for your questions. I'm also trying to demonstrate that on the tree Wikipedia. So please feel free to ask questions about adding data boxes or installation. CW. So if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat. Yeah. In the meantime, we already had a question from Inaki about um, the OpenStreetMap map that was not displayed correctly. Do you know anything about that? Inaki, maybe you want to post the link of an example again? Or maybe even share your screen if you want. Okay, so um, while he is doing that, usually for data uh, for the open street map to show, uh, because um, it has to pull up the data somewhere from the map, it requires a good uh, bandwidth or it requires that you have good network. 
So I, I just want to believe maybe it's as a result of network, but he can share his screen. Let's see. Oh, sure. So let me stop sharing my screen. So I just added another data box to the True Wikipedia, uh, an article Ghana. Let me stop sharing my screen. Yeah. So you can try adding more um, data boxes on all wikis uh, once they are, you are done installing your data box. Can I share in my 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 sc screen now? Yes, please. Uh, so you can see now that the, the it is just like an empty box, so it's not displaying displaying the map. Uh, in the mm. in the data box, but I can if I click on it. Yes, it opens. It it works fine. Mm. But uh, not, I, I not feel it could be like an internet. Um... However, the internet seems to work fine. So I, I'm I'm getting I'm getting mm. the the flow or, but uh, not not uh, seeing the. Just I only feel the the difference in uh, in the mm. in this uh, map not displaying. But other other than that, the 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 internet seems to be right. Okay, so um, uh, please, are you on the Telegram group? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I will figure out um, the challenge and then let you know in the group. Yeah. All right. And. Uh, Okay, uh, I have another another question. Uh, can I can I customize the the, the data showing uh, displaying on the in the info box? Um, in terms of the language, like the labels properties. Uh huh. Yeah. So if you want to have them appear in your own language, most of them are in English. You can do the translation on Wikidata by translating the properties. And like DN said, if you want the image to appear in the Wikipedia article, you first of all need to add it in the Wikidata item. So if you want to display like properties um, in your own language, you just go to Wikidata and then yeah. translate them. I, 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 there's a, next, a session coming next. Which yeah, yeah. Uh, with uh, I, all this. No, it's, it's not about the, it's, they have been translated actually, and uh, Galder will be in the, the next panel. Uh, he has okay. uh, taken charge of uh, translating a lot of things, uh, mm -hmm. but only there, there. There are so many data here. I'm not sure uh, they all are relevant to a regular reader of uh, of Wikipedia, and so it takes. It's very long. You know, the, the, the 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 data box I, I am seeing here, and perhaps uh, if it could be uh, customized in order to allow for more room inside the, the, the article because it, it takes very long. There are many data, many, yeah, many. Okay. I, yeah. I get that now. I am not sure um, how we can do that, but I think it's possible to be able to edit um, that. But generally I think all the information because they are all pulled from Wikidata, maybe there will be another way to um, Edit it. I'll still get the answers for you. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think I don't get his question clearly. So, uh, yeah, his question is on the info box, like the data box the information that displays on the article in the in his wiki. So okay. if he wants to customize it, let's say reduce some information that is on the wiki. Yeah, for example, After the number, adding, the number the telephone number or yeah, the telephone. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, how does he take those things off? Oh, okay. So um to be able to do that, um, if you do that for the data box, it's going to affect all other um, data box that is found on that particular Wikipedia. Yeah. If you go to the module column data box that we installed first, 
um, we have a list of properties that it covers. So you can actually go there, pick out all the properties you don't want to, you don't want it to be displayed, or you add um, new properties you feel they should be displayed. So just simply go to the module column data box. Um, uh -huh. You can edit it from that point. However, the challenge is that whatever you do at the module is affecting all other data box on your particular on that on that particular Wikipedia platform. Yeah. Yes, I hope that answers the question. And understood. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any more question? If not, I think Sadiq, you can show the slides about the wrap up so we can slowly start concluding the workshop. Yeah, sure. Okay, so the sl slide has information of all that we've spoken about and we'll be sharing it with you. So feel free to go through. Okay, so we also have, okay, go. No, no, go for it. I will take care of sharing the links in the chat. Okay, great. So please feel free to add all your installation in the link below. And um, also um, to learn more about Databox, we have these great resources that you can always watch. We have a PDF and then um, there's a video by Dian Shitogu and Masli. You can watch them to learn more about how you can, you know, install Databox and add Databox to your Wikipedia articles. And also you can stay in touch with us on Telegram. Uh, we have Databox users Telegram group. We also have um, certain not conference Telegram group. Yeah, so let's stay in touch. If you have any question, please reach out to us in the Telegram group or you can reach out to me via you know, Telegram privately or my email, sadiq at art and feminism.org. Yeah, okay. the workshop. At, as I mentioned, the workshop will be happening at 12 UTC. Please make a date, join them, and you learn more, a lot of things about translation, especially Wikidata properties, as you've seen in the Daban Wikipedia um, data box, you'll be able to localize all of that. And it is important for you to have them in your own language. It shouldn't be showing in English. It should always be showing in our languages. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Um, we'll see you again in the next session. Okay, so Goody, thank you so much, Felix. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, F2. Thank you to everyone. I think I have good news for Goody. Um, that's uh, for Lucio. I fixed the bug on the um, Evo Wikipedia. I think the data box now work perfectly, so you can start adding the data box. Thank you for your patience, and uh, just like you mentioned, just stay tuned for the next session. It's going to be interesting. Um, the more you go in, the sweeter it becomes. So let's stay tuned. And thank you for listening. Thank you for participating. You can reach out to me via Telegram at DN Shitobu on um, Twitter at um, uh, Napuro Shitobu, then on Facebook, the Pantiche Napuro Shitobu. Just wherever, just type something related to DN Shitobu that you have made there. You can reach out to me via email as it appears on the slide and I'll be available for any other queries. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you so much, Sadiq and Dian Shitobu for this workshop. Thanks to all the participants. We hope to see you soon in the next steps of the Celtic Knot. And for example, this workshop about um, translating properties, Wikidata properties in your language that will start in just one hour. You will have the access link in your email just like you joined this one. And um, yeah, and then we'll continue the day um, at the Celtic Knot. If you have any questions, as we said, feel free to reach out to our speakers. You can also join the dedicated data box users Telegram group. And um, yeah, feel free to add any questions there. So thank you so much and see you soon at the Celtic Knot.